We are aware that there's a lot of opportunity for change and that there are concerns about different aspects of diversity in science, uh, also some concerns about research culture and the kinds of, of incentives for scientists, especially in academia. And we're also aware that recognition has changed. The idea of giving out a medal is, is one way of doing recognition, but there are lots of new types of recognition, like the Ansari X Prize or other kinds of incentive prizes. It was very important to have an independent review panel because we needed that external perspective from people who have no preconceptions about our prizes and awards to bring in fresh thinking. The key findings for me are we need to do more on recognising teams because science today is so collaborative. We need to do much better at recognising teachers. We need to recognise people who engage um, with the, the public and with policy makers. And we also need to, to recognise really real breakthroughs, so innovations and, and emerging areas, as well as things that have happened in the past. What won't change is that we will always be recognising excellence. We're just going to expand the range of places where we identify and recognise that excellence. We will continue to recognise individuals because in the end great teams are made from great individuals. It's important to recognise many different types of science, from the kinds of fundamental research that, that change how we understand our world, right through to science that leads to breakthroughs that, that transform our everyday lives, for example, by leading to new medicines or new sustainable energy technologies. We heard in the review that there's a real appetite for, for celebrating this impact of science in, in making the world better for, for all of us. We've shared the findings of the review with many of the key members of our community, with our divisions, heads of chemistry departments and some of our committees. And the response has been overwhelmingly positive. People see this as a very exciting opportunity to create an award portfolio that recognises and reflects modern science, both the way it is and the way we want it to be in the future. You can expect to see new forms of recognition from the RSC in 2020. We'll be recognising leadership, we'll be doing more to recognise teachers and outreach, and also more on recognising teams. We're very keen to share this with other organisations so that we can all learn together about how to make prizes work for science and for society. As we respond to the review in the next three to five years, we're looking forward to evolving our portfolio so that it reflects chemistry at its best. So you can see the different forms of excellence that are so important for chemistry, so that it reflects the different facets of diversity, and also so that we highlight and celebrate the contributions of chemistry to humanity.